Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today you're gonna come along with me while I go book shopping. So today I'm going to be going to my favorite bookstore by my parents' house. I'm gonna take you along with me. Sometimes I buy like 10 books when I go, other times I buy none. It just depends on what they have. It's an indie used bookstore, so it just depends on what they have. I'll leave a like link, I think, to their I think they have a website. If you're ever in the Houston area or like an hour out of the Houston area, um, I would recommend checking this store out because it's so good. Um, I love it. My favorite thing about this store, I was like shocked by it when I first walked into it, is that they have an entire romance room. It's a room, like the store is like kind of like set up as like a house. There are multiple rooms in the store and there's a whole romance room and I love it. <laughs> so I don't have anything like in mind. I did see a TikTok video of theirs because I follow them on TikTok too, of them like showing off their romance room. And I know that they have The Dragon's Bride by Katie Robert there because I saw it on display and I don't have that one yet. And they also have other Katie Robert books. I don't think I own a Katie Robert book physically yet. Oh, I do, it's one of her first books. It's like, it's like her sci-fi romance one. Haven't read it yet. Anyway, I also got that from that bookstore, <laughs> um, but they have, a lot of historicals, a lot of steamer stuff. I know that they have um, new releases too, so I'm excited to go check them out. I'm also in the middle of my heart monitor observation, so I will have this on me. It itches so bad. This device like really reminds me of um, the, is it like a Dexcom? Is that what it's called? It's like the, um, the device that people with diabetes uses um to check their blood sugar and stuff that's what this reminds me of but i don't know how people do it like hopefully the sticker is not as itchy as like the ones that they use literally every day of their entire life um so i only have this one for a week i get it off in a couple days um and then i got my eeg off yesterday i had electrodes all over my head for four days um and so that's what these scars are um and it's all over my skull, all of these. Ugh. They were worse a couple days ago because um, I got it off three, two days ago. Um, they were worse, they were bleeding and oozing and it was so bad. So yeah, I didn't feel like putting on makeup because um, I want these to heal pretty well. Like I want them to heal. And so um, I'm not gonna be putting makeup on them right now, so. My mom is currently out of the house, but when she comes back, she's gonna end up taking me. They don't open until noon on um, Sundays. It's Sunday today. And so I'm gonna have to wait till it's noon <laughs> and wait for my mom to come home because uh, she has to drive me because I'm not allowed to drive anymore. And yeah, I'm really excited. I haven't been to this bookstore in like a few months because I don't let myself go like, more than once a month because like I want to see new books come in and if I keep going to the store like I'm never going to see new books you know like anyway I also got from them I want to mention a um last summer I was one of the first times I went and they had a historical romance mystery bag I got for like 10 bucks and there were like 20 historicals in there and it was so cool that's some of the books are on this shelf which what's one I got from there I think this is one that I got from there in that mystery bag. <clears throat> Sorry for the cat hair flying everywhere. But yeah, they have really good historicals and romances and other books too. So um, I'm gonna go show it to you. <laughs> Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Set your affirmations, aspirations I got to do the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good 
day, wake up. Today's gonna be a good day, wake up. Today's gonna be a good day, wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, yo. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo. Negative thoughts are poison, they rot. Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds. Uh, they'll never stop unless I can swap all the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost. Uh, yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it. Positive thoughts are overtaken. I got patience, one day at a time is how you operate a cadence. A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation. Stay away from all that causes temptation. I know that I like to do it cause of sensation. Hi everyone, it's a little while later. <laughs> Sorry if you hear an echo and sorry if the lighting's bad. We're actually sitting on my shower chair in my bathtub because both my parents are home and they're watching TV. And if I filmed in my room, you'd be able to hear the TV. And I really want to unbox, unbox, reveal to you what books I got because um, I'm impatient. <laughs> um, so I got um, three, three books and they had a mystery bag. You can see Bag O Historical Romance, Regency and Victorian, 16 used books, one low price. And yeah, I paid 15 bucks for 16 books. So, yay. Um, also, yes, I did change my shirt. I got food on the other one, so we just changed it. Um, so I'll show you the three books that I purchased. First is my favorite find. It's a little beat up, but I got it for $5. I got From Lukov with Love by Mariana Zapata for five bucks. Five bucks, like it's a little bent here. So maybe that's like the damage. It looks fine to me. I don't care if the back's a little bent. I'm excited for this. This is actually my five-star prediction. Uh, video for the year so I'll be vlogging about this book in that video um and I have the audiobook for this so like I think it's perfect time to pick it up soon maybe I'll read it now because it is so freaking hot in Texas right now and maybe a book about ice skaters will help me cool off <laughs> all the rest are historicals so I'm going to be scanning them through goodreads let me get goodreads on my iPad. Okay, so if you didn't know on Goodreads, whenever I'm in any used bookstore, I go to Goodreads and then like when you click on the search bar, there's a little picture of a camera. You can click it and then you can scan books. So this is what I do. So the next, I'll first show you the book. So the next book that I got was this book by Kathy Maxwell called Adventures of a Scottish Heiress. And this was definitely a step back by. I love it. So I don't know what series this is a part of. So I'm gonna get my scanner and the book, put the cover, oops, put the cover there. It's gonna scan it for me. And then it's gonna pop up on the bottom. There you go. So this is, I think it's in, not in a series. Okay then, it says it's not a part of a series. So yay, I love that. I just like to know, I'm curious if they're a part of a series or not. Um, and then the last book that I purchased that's not in the mystery bag is A Fine Passion by Stephanie Lawrence. I don't own any Stephanie Lawrence, but I had to get it because of this setback. Like it is stunning. Okay, so this is book four in a series, but I just needed it for the step bar. Let me know if you've read Stephanie Lawrence. Is that a good one or not? Okay, I'm gonna need my scanner definitely for this bag of books. Okay, so I got my free bookmark you can get a free bookmark when you go to the book nook okay so the first one we have is how to cross a marquess by jane ashford i've never heard of this author next oh we have a mary is it balog or below this one's called someone to romance it looks somewhat new i have a few of her i think just two for our older historicals. Then is, ooh, a Suzanne Enoch, The Handbook to Handling His Lordship. Look at that cover. Is this a step back? It is. Ooh, look at that. I love her dress. Look at her dress. Next is, ooh, Margot Maguire. I've never heard of this one. The Rogue Prince. 
I love this cover. And then they're also on the back. Wow. The Prince of Pleasure. To the ton, he is a wealthy and powerful royal, the dashing and enigmatic Prince Thomas of Sibdoria. And to Lady Margaret Blackmore, he is irresistible innocence. Innocent in the way of true passion, Maggie has lived a chaste life and proper until now, mad with desire, unlike anything she's ever felt before. She would do anything to tempt Thomas into her bed, but he hides a damning secret. In truth, Thomas is no prince. He's Thomas Thorne, sent away for a crime he did not commit. Hell-bent on revenge, he would do anything to destroy his worst enemy, even seduce the man's innocent sister. <sighs> that sounds good. Next is A Lady Never Lies by Juliana Gray. I've never heard of this author. It's a very shiny cover here. Next is The Confessions of a Duchess by Nicola Cornick. I've never heard of this author either. Next is How to Tame a Lady by Casey Michaels. Michaels. Ooh, a Sophie Jordan. This one's a little beat up. A Wicked, Wicked Nights with a Lover. This is a little beat up, but that's okay. Whoa. Whoa. I've never read a Sophie Jordan, but I own a few of them. But like, whoa. <laughs> Would one taste of a bold seducer's kiss last a lifetime? Okay, I need to find out what series this one's in. It's book three in the Penwich School for Virtuous Girls series. Sins of a Wicked Duke is first. Okay. Ooh, that, that looks cool. I wonder what the summary of the book is on, on ones like these. Oh, is it on the inside? What should a proper lady do when she believes her days are numbered? Step one, take a lover. After being told she will not survive beyond the year's end, prim and lovely Marguerite Laurent intends to live what remains of her life to the very fullest. Though she may never know love, she will know passion. And she agrees to a whirlwind romance with a former admirer. But hours before embarking on her grand adventure, Marguerite is abducted by an unscrupulous rogue who boldly announces his intentions to bed and wed her before the week is out. That sounds good. <laughs> I keep saying that, but they do. Okay, we have another Kathy Maxwell. I don't own this one. This is A Date at the Altar. Very, very cute. I love her step backs. They're just always so cute. Oh, Shannon Galen, an affair, an affair with a spare. Ooh, this is like a newer looking one. Very cool. I, I don't think I own any Shanna Galen, but I think a few of my friends like her. Lord of Fire by Galen Foley. I don't know what this is about. Is this a historical? It's just a picture of a house, so we will see. I'm very skeptical skeptical about ones with like just houses on them. Like the the some of the covers for the wallflower books without the cup the people on them, they're just of houses. And I'm like, I would never pick that up, honestly. It's a house. I need a person on it. <laughs> Next is Victoria Alexander's The Importance of Being Wicked. Look at that dress. Very blue. For Winfield. When Feld Elliot, Viscount Stillwell, finding a prospective bride always seemed easy, perhaps too easy, with three broken engagements to his name, Wynne is the subject of endless gossip, yet his current mission is quite noble to hire a company to repair his family's fire-damaged country house. Nothing disputable in that until the firm representative turns out to be a very desirable widow. Next, I have um, A Lady Never Tells by Candace Camp. I do own a Candace Camp book and I got it from my other mystery bag that I've ordered from them. I have never read one of her books, so we'll see what I think of her. Let me know if you've read Candace Camp and any books that I should read. Ooh, I don't own any of this author either. This is Along Came a Duke by Elizabeth Boyle. Look at this dress. I don't own any of her books. I've heard great things. Oh my gosh. <gasps> stunning. Just stunning. Next is Secret Desires of Gentlemen by Laura Lee Goo Go Gark. How do you pronounce that? Then her face is on the back and then there is a step back. On the little blurb it says she is the only woman he shouldn't have the only one he desires. Well, let's see this. Maria Martingale is going to elope, but Philip Hawthorne, Marquess of Cane, put a stop to those plans when he learned his younger brother intended to marry a cook's daughter. Now, 12 years later, Maria discovers that the man who holds her fate in his hands is none other than the haughty gentleman who sent her packing 
and he is as handsome and arrogant as ever. Okay, so she was gonna run away and marry this guy's brother, but then he called it off or he broke it off and now it's years later and she's in love with the brother now or something. And the last book that I have, look at this cover. It's The Reckless Bride by Stephanie Lawrence, another Stephanie Lawrence. Look at those lily pads so pretty i almost bought a few other stephanie lawrence because i had so many but i limited myself to one and so that's why i just bought that one but i'm glad there was another one in this bag so i bought a bunch of books today um i haven't bought books like this in a while so i needed a little pick me up after what happened this past week so this is my little pick me up now i'm going to be logging them all on my goodreads scanning them all and then um I'm gonna be putting them in alphabetical order on my cart. And yeah, maybe I'll start from Luke Off Love soon. We'll see, we'll see. But um, thank you all so, so much for watching. Please check out the Book Nook if you're in Texas or near the Brenham, Texas area. It's really fun. Also let me know um, if you've read any of these books and what you think about them. Should I read any of them? Should I not read any of them? Let me know. Um, but anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.